Now I have been using a uh, ST terminal for uh, seven or eight months now, and I think uh, I never really bothered to change the font. So today, let us uh, change the font, and I was actually trying to understand how to do it and the best way to do it. Now, if I look at the font that I have right now, it is uh, not really the uh, best uh, uh, best font. It is, of course, uh, very simple and it looks all right, but not really great. And now, because of course, I make a lot of uh, videos online and I of course share my desktop I thought I'll probably and I should probably improve the uh, appearance of my ST terminal so for the ST terminal you of course can change the font but before we can change the font we have to install the font and the font that I use and I uh, think it will look good is Adobe Source Code Pro font. So this font is something which I uh, tried and I think it looks really nice. So if you have to install maybe another font, you can just uh, decide and maybe take a look at what font works for you. But I think Adobe Source Code font uh, works really nice when it comes to uh, things on the terminal. So I have this font installed already. You can of course use uh, Pacman if you want to and uh, I, I don't really need to install it because I already have in, have this installed so um, let us cancel it and uh, we have to go to the directory where you have ST so if you have maybe downloaded ST you, you have maybe uh, maybe you have done git clone of the um, ST from the suckless website you can uh, you can go to that particular directory so for me it is uh, within the user SRC uh, directory and uh, I have my DWM D menu NST here. So if you want to modify, of course, uh, the config file, not really, there is no config file, it is, it is basically the header. It is basically config, but it is not really a configuration file, it is more about uh, the C header file which you need to modify. So I'll modify it uh, by using, of course, my favorite editor, Emacs. And uh, if you have Nano or Vim, whatever you want to use, you can use that. So let us let us uh, modify this and the file that I need to modify is config.h and if you if you notice the very first line is the line that you will get when you install st and by the way I don't really have any patch so far in st I mean I was playing with the transparency but I prefer not keeping the transparency because my fan was not liking it and because I think there is there is a performance uh, issue with uh, with adding alpha channel to your terminal. I'll probably play with it, but for the time being, I think I'll, I'll just change the font. So the font that we just installed is the source code pro, Adobe source code, and you need to use the font name here, which is in my case, uh, source code pro. I mean, if you're using a different font, just find the, fi just find the font name and uh, use it here. And that is it. If you modify this, of course it is uh, the header file. We have to build it again. And for building it again, you can do sudo make clean install and it will take a couple of seconds close it and open your terminal again and uh, and that is it now you have uh, this uh, new font that will look much better as compared to the one that was uh, uh, there out of the box so I'll, I'll probably show you my emacs very quickly so maybe uh, maybe if i open my xinit file or maybe Maybe, yeah, why not Why not let us open maybe X set root. And uh, this looks much better as compared to what I had earlier. And uh, I wanted to show it to you because uh, because I think once you install, once you install ST terminal, you may want to change the font because you must be wondering whether uh, working on Arch Linux, working with these suckless utilities, uh, will be boring. I, th I don't think it is boring. You just need to focus on what is important. And I think uh, bare minimum, if you can add a few lines in your config file to change the font or maybe the color, I think uh, do that if, if that makes you happy. I think you will appreciate the simplicity. Don't be scared of uh, changing the header files. Your, there is no configuration file when it comes to these uh, suckless utilities, STD menu and uh, DWM, you're supposed to modify the source code and build it again. And what I'm trying to say is that don't be afraid, don't uh, hesitate changing those files. 
worst case scenario you will mess up something but uh, you can always fix it if you know those changes because it is nothing but a text file so modify the file and generate the build again if you think you're not successful maybe you want to remove it you can do sudo make uninstall and then revert the changes and sudo make clean install again so you can revert the changes so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much